Welcome to Wednesday show. Yes, it is Wednesday and just want to make sure that we're going to work on YouTube at least before I keep moving forward. Amazon is still, I just played around with it for a couple minutes and I could not figure out how to get it ready. So there we go. We're live on YouTube. Amazon is a bust. I just got to figure out what's going on. Either way, um, the goal is to get that to work again, which I haven't done anything different that I did last week and I got it to work. So, hey Ashley. Okay, so just live on YouTube today for a second. Not for a second, but for a few minutes. Um, I'm so excited about this video because it's one of those things that, you know how, and I know the more I hang out with creatives, um, the more I realize a lot of people are like this. You don't always run into a pinch, but like sometimes that is a good way you figure something out. But like all of a sudden your brain is just going and then you discover a new material and then you're like, what else could I use this for? This, so what happened was I was laminating and I had a lot left over on one sheet and I was like, hmm, this seems to look like acetate. So if you don't know what acetate is, it is a clear plastic that you can cut with your Cricut or your Silhouette or whatever die cutting machine you have. And Cricut's version of acetate is pretty expensive. Let me make sure we're on, can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Um, I'm finally able to catch part of the live, yay. So I won't be live super long today. So maybe you can catch a lot of this live. Um, so Cricut's acetate is pretty expensive, so I buy mine on Amazon and I get the pack of it, which I'll add to my Amazon store since I can't be live on Amazon right now, but I was like, let me just add, double check and make sure that this is actually cheaper. So I don't know how many came in this pack. These are, oh wait, 12 by 12 inch sheets and 24 clear acetate sheets. So I added, I think this pack or one like it, and it, there's 24 sheets in it for about $15. Pretty pricey stuff, but you can get a pack of 200 laminating sheets for like 15 bucks. So way more cost effective to do it this way. And it can multi be more than just one material because this is what the acetate that you buy looks like when it's done, this would be really hard to use as a stencil because it's very flimsy. Like if I just had this cut out, I might be able to do it. But this is super sturdy when it's cut out. So you could also make stencils out of this, which is something we'll be doing this week, is creating bullet journal stencils with our laminating sheets. Um, so see and hear ya, thank you. Um, there's like a 30 second lag on YouTube. So I ask questions and you guys answer and then I realize I just move on and I forget to look for the answers. So I'm glad that you guys can see and hear me because otherwise I would have been sitting here talking and no one would have heard me. So I went ahead and I tested this beforehand. Um, that's why I have my Cricut out and the acetate. So when you're on YouTube, not YouTube, Cricut Design Space, um, the only option for acetate under the custom materials is as foil acetate, but that still works. So it worked on, even though this is thicker, this worked because I feel like this is a little bit more like actual Cricut brand acetate. The other ones, these ones actually feel just like maybe a little thicker, a little bit thicker than a Cricut matte cover. So that's another hack for acetate is you can use it as a matte cover as well. But this is like a matte cover and this is the acetate you get on Amazon. Very flimsy. And then this is the laminating sheet that's already pre-cut. So I'll shake one after it's done. So let's just make one. All you gotta do is kick on your laminator and this stuff looks frosted and like super flimsy before. And I'm just gonna laminate it as I would, but I'm gonna make sure that the folded side goes in first so you don't get any bubbles or wrinkles. So you just run it through your laminator without anything in it, and it turns into acetate, <laughs> which um, is amazing. And it 
so cool. Like, literally, I was just like, are you kidding me right now? Did I just make acetate? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm not going to use all of them today because I... And then you can just leave them like this. So if you need to make acetate, you can make acetate. And then if you need them as laminating sheets, you can use them as laminating sheets. So don't store them like this. Don't make a bunch and store them. Maybe like four or five if you need four or five sheets. But um, does anyone need like clarification on what you could use acetate for? Um, I'm gearing up for Prime Day, which I'm going to be doing Camp Cricket. And um, I'm going to cover a bunch of materials and different things that you can cut and what you would use those materials for and how to cut them and the cut settings for them and all the things. So what I cut right now is these shaker ears. So I made this Monday. I was working on these on Monday. And um, let me go back to design space really quick. And I want to browse all materials. The one thing I hate, I don't know if it's a design space thing or an Explorer 3 thing, but I have to go and every single, between every single cut, if I don't have this as one of my favorites, I have to go in and type it in and find it again. Between every cut. Doesn't even matter if it's the same round of cuts. I have to do it every time. Um, okay, pressure's good. Foil acetate. Load it it's loaded um and then we'll cut it and so i had to resize i pulled in my cricket file i had a feeling did i not load it right i did not load it right i felt i like knew in my bones i loaded it wrong but it it'll still cut it will and we're not going to do that because we know that that's not going to work got to make sure you get it under those feet we'll go over that in camp cricket next week <laughs> that's a big one um because you can ruin your mat real good that way. I have a lot of mats that ended up getting bent edges because they've been loaded improperly and then I didn't realize it and I quit, clicked cut. Um, especially when you're doing it backwards and you can't see it, it's really easy to do. Okay, now we're gonna cut it. So I took my Cricut file, this is the Glowforge file and we also have it in the cut file so that you can do this with heat transfer vinyl and a bunch of stuff. And then I did have to size the wings down like an inch and a quarter to get them to fit on the Glowforge. We are working on trying to figure out how to make sure that our cut files and our Glowforge files are easy to match up. Um, and they're just two different programs and so they have to be designed super specifically. How was everyone's 4th of July? Um, I definitely didn't go live yesterday because it very quickly became um, a busy day and that's okay. And we went to a parade and we cleaned our house and we had a barbecue and it was a really um, beautiful weather. That was, it was amazing, amazing weather. So I couldn't ask for better weather. Better weather. And uh, we have a really janky front yard, but right now we're getting it landscaped to sell our house. And so we have this one little patch that's finished with fake grass and it worked out so good. I was like, well, at least we get to use our fake grass once <laughs> before we move. Um, you can also sublimate on laminating sheets. What? Are you serious? I guess that makes sense because it's plastic. Can you run this through? Can, wait, can you run it through the laminator? It's probably not hot enough. I feel like we need to try it. Uh, do I have a laminating? I'm going to... I'm gonna test it after this and we might have to do a live about it because that would be cool. So do you like heat press on top of this? Cause I don't wanna put this in my heat press. What, how do I do that? What do I do? So cut setting for these, acetate, foil acetate, um, run it through your laminator. If I did this on Amazon Live, I might, I should have just popped Amazon Live on period because I didn't have anything fancy or anything. I should have just done it through my phone. Oh well, I'll do it again because there's a bunch of laminators on there. There's a really cool one that has like a slicer on top. There's um, obviously the link to all of this. We had grandkids over and Bauer. Um, sublimation needs to be after you heat press. So you can sublimate on acetate. I don't know why I would do that. I'm sure there's reasons, but I don't know why I would do that. I can't think of a reason why I would. 
I mean, I don't know. You can make it, like, rosy and florally. But I feel like, first of all, sublimation alone off gases and then heating up plastic in your heat press or something like that. I, on top of that, I just don't want to chance it. But already laminating it, I'm like, okay, I just melted plastic in my presence. Like, not the best for your for your lungs. But, you know, Melissa had us doing some really fun projects in acetate and paper crafts in class. So much fun. Yeah, so Melissa is doing her own paper craft Zoom classes. And she does tons of paper stuff. And she's one of the creators of our paper files. So I'm sure she can help you guys know how to use a lot of acetate with your paper. But I'm using it with my Glowforge today. So I wanted to make my Tinkerbell ears shakery. And since that was like literally the world's fastest tutorial, I am going to, um, it wasn't literally the world's fastest tutorial, tutorial actually. I used to do two minute tutorials all the time um, before TikTok was a thing. And so... Oh, and then these go on top of the green. I totally forgot. I was like, I don't know if I'm digging it too much. So I could have just, instead of putting the acetate on the back too, I could have just put it, because instead I put it on the back, put glitter in it, and then I glued the front, which it's still drying. There is a back to it. And then we painted that on Monday. So did I put my glue away? No, it's right here. So I could make my other ear while we hang out since that was the world's kind of fastest tutorial so what do you guys think did you guys already know this is this like mind-blowing is this like dude tay we've that's not even that cool like <laughs> on the level of one two genius how how much is this on that scale um you press the laminator sheet on wood or something like that in the heat press then you sublimate on that in your heat press you put the laminator sheets on wood, etc., then sublimate on it. So there must be a video out there that's showing you guys this, or do you guys all do this? Am I like just late to the party in the in this world, or what? So, but I wonder if you can laminate. Did you know? So you can sublimate on laminating sheets, or acetate sheets, or both. Sublimation needs. Okay, so let's see. Fourth was awful. Oh, I'm sorry, Clarita. I would love suggestions on what to use it for. So, okay, I'll start thinking of some more ideas, but mainly a lot of people in our community use it for uh, letter boxes to have a clear top. So when you put anything inside your letter box, they, um, you can see it. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna put the acetate on the back of this one or I feel like it kind of creates a barrier and you can't see the green as well. I think I just want to put it on the front of this one. Um, and then anything that you want to put confetti in or glitter in. So a lot of the paper community uses it for not just to see through the boxes, but if you do two layers on the top of the box, then you can put glitter in that as well. Uh, people use them for shaker tops for cakes for for um, cupcake toppers, cake toppers, what else? Anything that you wanna put glitter in and shake it. So you could do Mickey ears with it. Um, our basic Mickey ears can be made with like a hollow inside and then you can put glitter in them and then you can shake it. And there's like a couple ways you can do it. You can either sandwich right between two pieces of acetate and then the glitter kind of gets frictiony and stuck in there or you can do them so they're far apart but then the glitter kind of falls to the bottom and then you can shake it so it really just depends on like the look you want um what else do you guys use acetate for card making um the fronts of cards and putting glitter inside of them uh you can do a layer of acetate underneath paper over paper so that you can put some confetti in it, candy. Uh, we have a really cute uh, candy box that is inspired by Pixar and Jess made it and put like candy inside of the box and you can see it inside of it. I believe I have acetate sheets from a mystery box. I've never used them. Yeah, you need to use them or pull them out and try it out. It's a good way to use up laminating sheets, right? Because like if you buy a pack of 100 or 200, 
who's going to use that many unless you're really, really obsessed with laminating things, which, I mean, I am pretty obsessed with laminating things. And also, I was putting the glitter in. I do kind of want to wait till the glue dries, but I'm kind of eager. Um, I was putting the glitter in, and I, I went to just pinch it and sprinkle it in, and then that's when I realized, like, our chunky glitter is literally fish food. Like, it's literally fish food. And then when you pinch it, you're like, hmm, that's what it reminds me of. So, um, can you use them for the shaker badge reels with the liquid in it? Um, ooh, I don't know if I would put liquid inside of it. Has anybody put liquid inside of their acetate? Good question. I guess if you sealed this and you weren't using MDF or wood, you were using acrylic, you could put liquid in it. But if you were cutting acrylic and you want, if you were doing liquid, I would suggest doing clear acrylic and just using acrylic, not plastic, but could work. Um, can you do a video using the laminate as acetate with a shaker card or other project? Yeah. We can do lots of videos, making lots of things. Um, plus, now that I know, I was like, oh, I gotta test this cut setting, it's gonna take me forever. Nope, acetate cut setting works perfect. So I was like, thank goodness, because that was gonna stop me. And then by the time we figured it out, I wouldn't wanna do it anymore. Okay, there's the slightest hole. Oh man, I like moved it and then it popped off because it's still drying. Gotta put a little glue on there. Man, this glue is sticky when it's drying. And I got it all over the front of the acetate. And I'm using our bling glue, which is Fusion Tac, which I found on Amazon. So Super Tight has it on Amazon. We, our members do get discounts off of their actual website, but their actual website can kind of be difficult to shop. So I was gonna see if they would offer our code for our Amazon shoppers and see if you guys could use it on Amazon at least. Um, any more acetate questions while I'm just sitting here making this wing? Um, but I'm excited to be done with this wing because then I can actually create a full pair of Mickey ears. I'm, I found this headband that I'm going to use for Tink. Tinky Winky! And I actually was like, this puff ended up being real puffy. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I put acetate over the ear. If that's not, that's my other acetate. But if I put it over the ear somehow and then sealed it, could I put make shaker ears? Which I do have the hollow ears I could put on the outside and then do the acetate in between. But I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. But I think it, I think it's going to be plenty with just the wings. So, um, alrighty. So that's our tutorial for the day. Super easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? I'm wondering if I should just upload this video to Amazon Live because Lord knows I don't want to do it again. Plus the wing is already done. So I'm trying to get some of this glue out. This is my test one I did. Um, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're doing. Oh, we're going to do this again tomorrow, but we're going to make planner bullet journal stencils. And then I'm going to show you guys an update on how I've been using my Laurel Denise planner and what it looks like. It's kind of been, it's so high functioning. That's what I love about the planner, but it's super easy to make cute quickly because it, it, like today, my July was looking like a hot mess. And then I was like, let me just throw some stickers in there. And it ended up being really cute, but I was gonna show you guys my June. I might fly have to fly out to California pinners to get those ears. Yeah, um, we are gonna be doing custom basic ears so we picked all the acrylic today we're picking more but um we're gonna have the option to do custom basic ears and then we'll have some of these guys featured for the photo booth but if you have if we have them and you want to buy those specific like finished ones i might have that option too but we're trying to just go as simple as possible but as cool as possible so that everyone can do that um, and if pinners works out we will do more pinners in more locations too uh, but it has to work out so 
Uh, we, we're doing Mickey ears for Pomona because it's close to Disney. So we figured everyone who was down there is close enough that they may be going to Disney and they might want some Mickey ears. We might do a different make and take for our Houston or our Dallas event, um, but we'll see how this one goes. And we will have a bunch of our new catalogs for sale and we will have them available um, to browse and our team will be there to explain how they work and it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be fun. Um, great idea for leftover laminate too. Thank you, Tay. You're welcome, Janet. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for some planner fun and all the things. Um, and I missed you guys yesterday, but I also was just happy to take the day off too. I kind of really needed it. It was very emotional day for me. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm taking a mental health morning, but I did some planning. Camp Cricket should be, should be pretty cool. As long as I can learn how to make sure I can go live on Amazon. So new business member. Woo! Welcome Kate Burns. I invested $200 to get my website built for me. I hit a wall with trying to get it finished and there was a huge sale yesterday for the fourth to have it built and ready to launch. That's exciting. It was normally $497. That's exciting. So we will be doing some um, fun business content for you guys in the developing group in the next few months. So if you're in the developing group, there's gonna be a lot of new content coming out for you guys. If you're in the growing group, there's a lot of opportunities for you guys. So make sure you are doing them. Self-care is not selfish. It's really not because I can't show up for anyone if I don't. So I was definitely in a much better mood today. So that was that was very helpful because I was like, oh, I can function today because I took a break yesterday and I paused and I stopped and I just let myself be and let myself be who I am and who I needed to be yesterday. And it was very good for me. Um, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Tomorrow is 10 a.m.